All right, boys and girls, today we're going to test a new amp, new company, Slaps Audio, because, you know, you want your subs to be slapping. So here's the box it came in. There's the amp. There's the owner's manual. And a uh, lovely letter that comes with it. Warranty sheet installation requirements this is the shock 3k point one D and you can go on uh, slapsaudio.com and click on amplifiers and there uh, they have some reducers they have the 3k uh-huh they have the 5K, mm -hmm. and they have an 8K, which I'm not sure if that's in stock right now. But anyway, um, so I figured, you know, what the heck, let's try one. And, uh, you know, it looks fairly typical, uh, other than the price is very low. has a built-in fan. Fan's running. It's pretty quiet. has your 1.0 inputs, and you know Slick Willie. I'm going to test it with 10 gauge wire, CCA, on alligator clips. And my battery bank is a little bit low right now. Uh, I think it's time to move over to the lithium. Now, the neat thing is, uh, these come with Tiffany RCAs, a single input. You've got your, uh, your high pass from 15 hertz, your low pass which is 80 then your gain and a bass boost and I did not catch the uh, where that bass boost boost frequency I didn't I don't remember seeing it you got a clip and a protect light and uh, four speaker out and look at this remote then you may ask what is that second light for well I emailed them they said that is a clip light now if that's the case at that price uh, and it says it takes up to six volts in so I've played around I uh, ran it into my machete light uh, light R a little bit and uh, back there if you can see that black box on the left that is a uh, small prefab 10 inch box with a seismic sub in there um, and that, I tested on that, and that was an open box grade A 10 inch sub that uh, has got uh, motor knock, and uh, it's it's no good. So uh, I also got some eights from uh, Seismic Open Box, and they were no good either. So I broke out the trusty recoil eights and threw them in the dual 12 ported box. So, let's do a little test. So we're maintaining pretty uh, pretty good 13.8 or better. Um, I think this is uh, from some of the other amps I've tested. And I always use this Alpine or just about always. It seemed like I had to wind up the gain. Um, and, you know, you know I'm not putting that much power to those 8s. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm not putting that much power to them. But, uh, you know, and forget, okay, the 10 gauge wire. But still, I'm not getting a voltage drop at the amp. And, uh, I had the gain on. I never hit clipping. That's almost wide open there. And I think I'm about 12, 1 o'clock. I'm thinking it's going to take a little more voltage to to get this to get up and go. You know, input voltage. <clears throat> so, being, uh, I'm probably 
well less than two volts out of that alpine but you know some amps they're very sensitive and that that two volts you could just bring the gain up uh not even to nine o'clock and it's already pounding so i will say that this is uh less sensitive on the input gain which means more voltage required to get the output but still again man that's crazy the price on that so check that out slapsaudio.com um don't know if they're going to stick around don't know if the price will stay the same but uh that's a deal you better jump on it that's it have a good day